the Jubilee Party leader, President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, has cracked the whip again by kicking out all the senators who voted against the wishes of the party during the time when they were removing Professor Kidure Kendiki from his position of deputy speaker. We have senators who voted against the wishes of the party when the party whip asked them to toe the line. And this time round, Uhuru has dealt with them. Before we go deeper into this, I want to thank each and every person who has really subscribed to this channel. And if you're not a subscriber, kindly take a second subscribe and you will get all notifications of the videos that we have done on this platform. On this platform, again, we are only discussing politics. Now, Nandi Senator Samson Gay, Chair of Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, is one of the senators who has been affected. Bomet Senator Christopher Legat, House Business Committee, he was a member, has been replaced by Nairobi Senator Sakaja. The same Bomet Senator who has been chairing Education Committee has been replaced by Alice Milgot. Meru Senator who was really making noise during that time he has been, who has been holding a County Public Accounts and Investment Committee has been replaced by Fatuma Dulo. Laikipia Senator John Kinywa, Chair of Devolution Committee, is also one of the people who has been kicked out. Now, it was noted that these changes has been forwarded to the Senate Speaker for ratification and soon they will be effected. Now, Senator Kipchumba Murkumen in a twist was set up to replace Senator Kinwa, who was being punished for standing with him. The Senator declined this position because he realized that really they were just setting him against his colleague whom he was standing uh, with him when they were de-whipping him from his majority position. Now, there are lessons to learn here and the key is that Uhuru is keen to remain in active politics after his second term in power. And for, the reason, for that reason, he has to weaken the followers of his deputy. That's why, you know, Uhuru is in his term and he has only remained with two years. So he, 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 he should have not been bothered with too much of this politics or these changes because he's serving his last time and he's only remaining with two years. But because of doing this, it is an indication to Kenyans or the Jubilee members that Uhuru is keen to remain relevant in politics. Now, you will also realize that another thing is that Uhuru want to remain the kingpin in Mount Kenya. That is why he has to scatter <clears throat> all the leaders from central Kenya who contradict him. He is very careful and keen to remain the kingpin. After his term in office, he want to have a say in 2022 election. That's why people like talk of uh, Kiunjuri. He was kicked out when he was not uh, really showing loyal to President Uhuru. You can talk people like uh, Babayao, the Kiambu governor, who was kicked out. You can talk of people like Kimani Ichungwa, who are being, you know, they are facing all manner of things. People like uh, the Senate, uh, the Senate Speaker who was kicked out, Kidure Kindiki. You know, when you try to show signs that you want to come out like a person who wants to contradict Uhuru, he has to deal with you. People like Ndindi Nyoro, they cannot be friends of President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta as long as they still support 
uh, the bite for Deputy President William Samoy Ruto. And another thing that you are going to learn here is that Uhuru wants to protect the family wealth post his presidency by having a say in the next election or presidency directly. That's why he wants to remain in active politics. So all these moves have a reason and he has a big interest in the next government. So he either, be, he either play as a party leader and go into coalition with the other parties in the next election or even be, be uh, assured of some slot in the next uh, government if the constitution can be changed. Let's say like a position of uh, prime minister. That's why Huru is doing all this, in my view. Now, the move in all changes that the Senate has, has done is to send a warning to Parliament, the National Assembly, that prepare to take the to prepare to tow the party position, or soon you get out. So this is a warning Uhuru is trying also to send to the National Assembly, that prepare. I'm, I have dealt with this one, and I'm coming for you. So the president has called for the PG. Soon they will be having PG. As we know, they are preparing the 10 uh, people who are chosen from the party to prepare for that PG that is going to happen. So this one is one of the warnings that Uhuru is sending in advance. So Uhuru will deal with the Tanga Tanga so that he allow proper way for the BBI referendum of which if the government cannot have money, some of the changes that they wanted to do through referendum, they can do through the parliament. They can discuss and make deliberation on it. So for him to achieve this, he has to prepare a way, have his people, the person who he believes in, the people who articulate his issues, the people who will not be seen as people who are blocking the wishes of BBI, that the people he Uhuru now needs in office, so that they can speak his mind. So we are waiting to see what is going to unfold after this. And we also saw the senators who are called to to express themselves why they miss the PG that was called by the president. And we are seeing people really are betraying Ruto. Now, another thing out of this topic that really touched me also is how politicians have decided to play with the life of Kenyans. Poor Kenyans taking poison food to Kenyans. We condemn this thing, we know this guy is working on it, but we want to condemn it whether it was Tim Tangatanga or Tim Kieleweke, any of these people, it was wrong, it was inhuman to do such a thing. So we won't condemn it. We know they are in the politics, but let's not play with human beings' life with this politics. Let's have some sanity in what really we are doing. So we are warning these politicians, we are watching them. Maybe, let's say, if it was from the side of the DP, so we say you could do such a thing so that the complaint will come out uh, that the government is giving out poison food to link this one to him. Or we can say even the, the Kielewek side might be the one who are doing this just to, uh, to make people fear this food that is being distributed by Ruto Foundation. Though again also the government gave the directive in which ways the when willing people to help Kenyans with, the, with the, this relief food, they could use the procedures have been laid down, how you can donate this thing. So we are also asking, they could have just used this channel to avoid all this politics. If you are helping, just help, as simple as that. 
but we want to condemn this these things that are unfolding it is very wrong and we don't advocate for this so we hope the dci is going to work on this and the culprit will bring will be brought to books so thank you for watching and see you another time